X is back from Williams Paint and Body. And let me tell you, it's been resurrected, all right? Join us for the unveiling. And a little bit later, we're gonna take our JK Jeep. We're gonna move it up four inches where the TerraFlex lift kit. And also, the tires and wheel combo is gonna add a little more. We're moving up in the world today on Tech Garage. Welcome to Tech Garage presented by Advance Auto Parts. Now, Brian, I'm so excited. We flip-flopped the whole show around to put the project RSX Resurrection right in the front because the unveiling, man. This thing looks like a new car. You remember that imagination, that vision? <laughs> yeah. Here it is. Yeah, it looks fantastic, I got to tell you. And I'm starting to get excited because the outside is looking almost as good as everything we've got going on underneath and out in the engine bay. That's for sure. Now, we're looking at it. It's pretty good. Well, what about our audience? Let's show them. Three, two, one. Man, that thing is gorgeous. Look at that. It really is. Now, I'll tell you what. Eddie Williams did a phenomenal job. And you know what you can tell? You remember before it was smashed, the fender, the mirror was falling off the whole nine yards? I'll tell you, listen to this. No effort whatsoever. That's quality. Well Doors done. lined up. Absolutely perfect. Our carbon fiber mirrors. I remember in show one, I touched it, it fell off. We needed a new one. Well, there it is. The body lines on the hood. The Corvette orange popping on this vehicle. You can see the wrap on the front, the whole front bumper. We had nothing there before. That's looking good. Brand new headlights, brand new mirrors, brand new wipers. I mean, this thing's looking good. And really, the icing on the cake, along with lowering it with the e -bock, you can see here the actual wheels. WheelPro sent us these Motegis, track light rims, and wrapped them in right. Nitto tires. That bronze mat really sets it off, man. I'm telling you, Williams hit a home run with this one. Sure did, and I love the carbon fiber mirrors. That's a great finishing touch. Now, the temptation at this point for any of us might be to take good and make it even better, like add some wax and buff it out and really enjoy it for the weekend but resist that temptation. You need to wait at least 30 days so the paint can breathe. There's vapors and gases that need to evacuate and come up out of the paint, and if you've got wax on it, you've sealed it in. You don't want that to turn into damage later on. So, wait your turn on that. But there are the, you gotta use the right products that take care of this paint now and forever. So to help us understand that, John's over at the table with some great Meguiar's product. Now, Brian was exactly right. We're going to ship our RSX back to Williams Paint and Body, where they're going to take some 1,000 grit sandpaper and some 5,000 grit sandpaper and wet sand it. You know, then they can go ahead and buff it with some Meguiar's. We'll be ready to wax it then. But, Brian, the wax technology, I mean, it's come as far as the technology in the cars. I mean, just to wash a car, there's four or five steps here. There's a technique to this stuff. There's absolutely a lot to consider. You know, it really begins and ends with climate. Where do you live? Is it hot? Is it extremely cold? What are those extremes, which really ought to drive your decision? decisions around what type of wash, what type of wax ultimately you're going to use because we all want this paint to last a long time and look good in the process. And you know what? We got to spend some time with Meguiar's a while back and one of the coolest things I've ever seen was this clay bar. I've been needing it for you, but man, it looks like it's clean. It looks like there's no contaminants, but this really will tell the story. It's amazing. You got to have the paint surface clean and we did that with some good Meguiar's wash to get it ready. We didn't wash the whole fender because I want you to be able to see the difference. The clay bar comes in a kit couldn't be easier four or five steps to follow once this is clean you apply the detailer and what this is going to do is take the contaminants off the top layer beyond the paint out on that clear coat and out on top of that so i like to knead it into a square and then work it and just gently work it and then you can stretch it right there you can see you've got dirt coming off that's with three passes with a clay bar so Ultimately, we would do the whole fender, and you could fold it over, knead it a little bit more, and just keep working it. You want to keep it lubricated, and then, perhaps the most important part, John, a lot of people forget about, is you got to have the right application, you got to have the right towels to dry it, and yep, you can see it cleaning up right there. We're getting better luster already. So. And with the technology today and the paints and the clear coats, I mean, yeah. the swirls, the scratches, you know, waxing the wrong way can actually put swirls and scratches into the paint. This is going to take care of all that, get the contaminants off, give you that real base where you can put some nice wax on. Now, what about waxing? You got some tips for that? Yeah, I'll tell you what, again, there's so much engineering that goes into the chemicals that they provide these days. So does the engineering apply in the applicator itself. So you got to put wax on with the right stuff. If you're using Meguiar's, use their applicator. Again, these are designed to work together. Same thing with removing it. 
microfiber is the way to go. You can get a nice buff, a nice finish there. And I tell you what, you can make just about any paint job come back to life and the vehicle look really good. That's for sure. We're going to get some nice Meguiar's Carnuba wax on our car, but you know, I can't leave it there. I got to go with the interior, the tire shine. We're going to make it look good when it comes back from Eddie's. Now stick around. We're going to get rid of our Project RXX, ship it back, but we're going to get our JK Jeep lifted four inches with a Terrafex lift along with putting a worn winch on it. We'll be right back with more Tech Garage presented by Advanced Auto Parts. Big day.